Extra, extra, read all about it. This is your weekend romance from Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle, for those of you who are just discovering the channel. This is my tarot and oracle card channel. Um, I do weekly readings, weekly zodiac readings, and I do daily readings. And that is nine, between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. I go live and I answer questions um, after I've done a daily reading. So that's a lot of fun. Please do hit subscribe below and help the channel grow and click that bell so that you know when I upload content and when I go live. Now, for those of you who are on platforms that allow for commercials, there will be a commercial break coming up in a couple of seconds. Let me say thank you ahead of time for allowing that video, that commercial to run. That is actually, whether you knew it or not, you donating to the channel and I appreciate your patience. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who were lucky enough to not have to see a video, you just sat through an awkward pause and I thank you so much. For those of you who did actually watch, not a video, a commercial, I am very, very grateful. So thank you for helping the channel grow. All right, everybody, this is a weekend romance reading, general energies for all signs for the weekend of October 25th. A six, I would say actually end of end of the night, October 25th through October 27th, 2019. Uh, there's a lot of celebration going on. I know people are partying and getting ready for Halloween. We are in Scorpio season, so this is a sexy, sexy time and a lot of loving going down. As you know, this is the general reading over on YouTube. I'm using my Talisman and Cauldron deck. If you're interested in purchasing it, the link is below. Also in the description box below is the link to the extended Vimeo video where I actually go in depth and break things down for weekend romance per zodiac time and that will be all time stamped over there and that's more of an oracle card reading. So let's see what the general energies for love and romance are coming out this weekend. We're in Scorpio season, so I know this is going to be hot and sultry. I just don't know how long it's going to last, if you know what I'm saying. So let's see what the, the cards have to tell us about romance for October 25th through October 27th of 2019. This is for the weekend romance of October 25th through the 27th of 2019. The cards are popping off. They are speaking and they are not being shy. And I gotta tell you, that's the way I think most of y'all are gonna be. You are gonna be speaking and not being shy. Even, even those of you who usually get tongue tied or who have a trouble talking to people, I don't think that you're gonna have a, a hard time this weekend. I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay, here we go. Uh, at the top of the reading, we have a lot of cards out. Uh, top of the reading, Ace of Swords, uh, backstabbing. This is really weird because I thought all these cards were turned upright, but you know what? I start out with a fresh deck and here they are, Ace of Swords. This is backstabbing. This is this is killer energy. This is a killer weekend. You better watch out. I don't know, maybe some of y'all are going to a murder mystery. All these cards are turned upside down. Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. I was probably holding the deck in reverse. I was probably holding the deck upside down. That's really interesting. Okay, that's really, really interesting. All of my cards, a lot of my cards for the zodiac sign readings, this week especially, have been coming out in reverse. So I almost feel like everything is topsy-turvy. It's almost like if you're usually shy, you're not going to be shy this weekend. I'm going to turn all the cards upright. If you're shy, you're not going to be shy this weekend. If you usually get a lot of attention, you may not get a lot of attention this weekend. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, you may find yourself in the rare situation where you have extra money to spend. Okay, the only card then that legitimately came out was this Aries energy, um, the Emperor in reverse. So, I have to say, with the cards on the table, the way that they play out now, there is going to be some mighty powerful stuff going off. Judgment upright 
is the central reading. This is new life. This is like a new you. This is a new chance or a new lot in life. This is celebration. This is happiness. This is heaven. There are two full moons sitting right next to each other. Negative cancels out a negative. In other words, look, you have an ending to something. You have an ending to any secrets and lies that have been kept from you. So if you was dealing with somebody who was trying to roll with two different partners, or if you were dealing with not understanding or not knowing what your partner was thinking or feeling, if you had a feeling that something was going on underneath the surface, it's all going to come out this weekend. And I think that here it is, right next to the, the moon comes out, right? Everything is ended. All the secrets are ended and the truth comes out. Ooh, some of you was playing with fire. Some of you were dealing with somebody who was not being honest to you and you knew it. You're going to see finally, it's going to be revealed to you um, all that you needed to know to put your world back right. Communication is coming in. It's coming in hot. It's coming in strong. It's coming in when you don't even ask for it. And I bet you, you had a controlling man, some sort of deviant man, some sort of man who was rolling in things that you didn't know about. And he's try either he's trying to come home or you're going to end up victorious because you don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. What? That's the energy that's popping off this weekend. Secrets and lies are exposed. And whoever tries to pull that shit on you is going to be surprised that spirit has already informed you of everything. This is like a homecoming. This is like an energy. Yeah, see, we're going into Mercury retrograde. So those exes are going to come out of the closet. Somebody who basically did you wrong and who tried to control you is now trying to come back into your life. I'm going to say this to you right now. I don't like the way the cards are acting. It doesn't, I know that doesn't make much sense to you guys. But I don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like the way the cards are acting. It's really weird. It's really impulsive and pop offish. It's almost like there's no control over themselves. And that's maybe that's the emperor energy in reverse. Because the emperor that is turned upright has control over everything. And he inspires uh, loyalty and uh, he is a leader. I feel like this weekend, it's almost like when it comes to romance, nobody has any control at all. Some of y'all straight up may get plain old sloppy. Just letting you know. Yeah, there's just gonna, it's almost like, oh, that's what this is telling me. You got friends in low places, you're actually going to low places. You're getting down low, you're getting dirty, you're like kicking off, you don't, in other words, devil may care, you don't give an, a you know what this weekend. You are just throwing caution to the wind and you're letting it all hang out. You're not hiding anything, you're not worried about anything. You're not worried about money. You're not care. It's just like you don't care. It's like a lack of control. You're relinquishing control. You're relinquishing control and you don't care. It's like an I don't give a damn weekend. And I feel like this is coming sort of, I don't know. I don't know. It could be because finally you got good news. You're like you're celebrating because you got good news and you know that nothing can hurt you now. Finally, some a clarity has been made. Communications have come in or... Um, you, so something dawned on you or you just finally cut those ties and severed whatever tethers you had. Now you're finally free. You're just done. You're done with any burdens. You're done with any lies. You're done with anything that was hidden in the dark. You're pretty much done with it. And now you're getting down and dirty. You don't care about propriety. <laughs> You've got no interest in controlling yourself or having any sort of boundary set for you at all. Maybe some of you are actually coming home, like literally returning home to party or visit your friends or see loved ones. Like there seems to be like just no holds barred. And not only are you not taking the higher ground, it's almost like you might let, there, there might be some... I don't know, there might be some quarreling with who you're seeing because both of you have like no filter this weekend and you're just letting it all hang out. But I don't feel like any of this is going to really bother you or harm you at all. If anything, I feel like it's just going to increase the sexual chemistry. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you're basically letting your feelings out. 
You don't care. You don't, not that you don't care, but you're not, you're not allowing anybody else to tell you what to feel or who to feel it for. You're just throwing caution to the wind and letting it all hang out. In other words, you have enough. You have no doubt. This weekend is a weekend of having no doubts, of having complete confidence and complete self-esteem and knowing that you have a lot to give and that there's a lot of people who want to taste it. Okay, and you are willing to get down and dirty and down low, maybe push up that bosom a little higher than you normally would or wear that shirt cut a little bit lower than you normally would. Or fellas, talk to three, four girls right out in the open. Don't even try to play. Just be, don't even try to play games or play coy. In other words, it is no holds barred. That veil is coming down between the two worlds and we are literally dancing in the spirit world. So if there's no fear coming from that, there's no fear coming from you at all. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing this weekend, this is going to be a weekend of no rules, no holds barred, total and complete honesty with everybody that comes into your life, especially new people. And that's what I feel like. This is almost like new beginnings. If you meet anybody new this weekend, you're just going to be totally like unbridled and, and they're going to either love you or hate you, but whatever they do, they're going to love you or hate you for exactly who you are, not who you try to be, not who you pretend to be, but exactly who you are. This is like a whole new you. This is a confidence that may not last forever. It may not last beyond this weekend. Who cares? It is here, it is powerful, it is loud, it is strong, and somebody's wishes may straight up come true. Somebody makes maybe some victory and success because you're getting an offer, you're getting a DM, you're getting a communication, or you're just getting the momentum, people coming after you, that is going to literally be something that almost takes you by storm and surprises you. You weren't waiting on it, and it may come from a place that is, no, forget about it. Wherever place it comes from, there's just gonna be a lot of options and opportunities this weekend for romance. It doesn't matter if you're in a couple. It's like almost like I heard the question being asked. It doesn't matter if you're in a couple. If you're in a couple, you're you honestly no holds barred with each other. This is like propriety being thrown out the window. Whatever rules that you guys had agreed upon with each other, I just somebody some of you might be taking a third party into your relationship just to experiment with it. Not I, I'm not getting a third party long term. I'm just saying there is no holds barred. Any kind of fear or like any anything any anything that you were afraid of maybe you and your spouse were there things were growing like tension was growing between you you know what i'm saying like there was a lot of you know like like things that you were hiding things that you weren't saying to each other but you were getting angrier and angrier and angrier pop goes the weasel this weekend because you're just going to be screaming and yelling at each other no holds barred it's almost like everybody is becoming a scorpio this weekend you're going to scream you're going to yell there's going to be all kinds of fucking drama and then there's going to be all kinds of afterward that's what's going to happen this weekend this is a hot steamy it may not last forever but oh my god let it last for now and enjoy the now this is between october 25th through october 27th if you will join me over on Vimeo, the link is below. I am going to break this down by zodiac sign and specifically tell you each zodiac sign. One video for all 12 zodiac signs, what you guys can expect this weekend, October 25th through October 27th. I'll see you over on Vimeo.